As a parent, you want the best for your children. As well as a happy childhood and a good education, many would also like to give them a good financial start to their adult life, maybe even a step up onto the property ladder. A junior ISA, also known as a JISA, is a simple and effective way of helping you to achieve those objectives. Only a parent or legal guardian can set up a junior ISA, but once it is set up, anybody can contribute. This might be particularly interesting to grandparents. The maximum that can be invested each year in a junior ISA for a child is £9,000. Now the money could be invested in cash deposits, or in stocks and shares, or a combination of the two. Perhaps the biggest attraction of the Junior ISA is that all of the income that is generated by the amount you invest and all of the capital gains that you make are completely free of tax. That's a massive boost to building up the value of the JISA over time. And while we're talking about time, let's not underestimate the power of regularly investing over time. If you took that £9,000 maximum contribution you can make to a Junior ISA, invested that on the birth of your child and made that investment every year through to the child's 18th birthday and secured a return after charges of 3% per annum, your investment for your child would be worth over £200,000 at that time. Now, if you invested £2,000 a year for that same period from the birth of your child through to the 18th birthday based on the same assumptions, 3% growth after charges, you would still have a sum of just under £50,000. Of course, returns can't be guaranteed. The parent controls the junior ISA, but from the child's 16th birthday, if the parent wishes, they can give control of the JISA to the child to give them some involvement in making investment decisions. However, access to the junior ISA is absolutely prohibited until the child's 18th birthday. But at that point, the junior ISA becomes, in effect, a full ISA, and the child takes over full control and then has full access to the junior ISA. Now if your child having access to the investment at age 18 is something that you're uncomfortable with, there are alternative ways to invest for children that will deliver a little more control beyond the 18th birthday. If you're interested in that kind of investment, then you should discuss this with your St James's Place partner. So in summary, a junior ISA gives parents and others who wish to contribute a simple, tax-efficient way to invest to give their children a great financial start to their adult life.